Freddy, and I will be your guide. Today, we are going to an anomaly that only exists in LA. It's called the Burger Joint. Yes, you all have burgers everywhere, but this town is nuts for burgers. They are literally everywhere. And they're these little mom and pop shacks, cute as hell. And they're all freaking great so far. They're just your typical kind of smash burger on a griddle, but nothing fancy, but man, it's good. And uh, there's one here I go to a lot. It's called Penny's, Terrific, Tommy's, Lucky Boy, The High Life. They're everywhere. Um, but the one today that I'm looking into is called Pete's Blue Chip. I've been driving by it on Colorado for a while, and out front there's a sign that says pastrami steak sandwich. I'm like, mmm, heart attack on a bun. But I had to just try it. What the hell, you know? So I go moseying in there, go up to the counter. Say, hey, buddy, I'll try that pastrami steak sandwich. He says, what? I'll never heard of that. <laughs> oh, man. So, you know, I'm like, you, it's right there on the sign. He goes, no, that's pastrami or steak sandwiches. All right. So I opted in for the pastrami because I am a nut for pastrami. <laughs> I'm kind of a snob about that. Actually, I'm a pretty much a snob about every food. But you know what? It's not that I'm a snob. I just want it right. That's all. I like simple. Simple's best. But uh, it's just got to be done right. Being in a restaurant business for years, you know, I was a GM at Ruth's Chris, at Guy Fieri's, worked at a very high level, sous chef. But anyway, so I checked this place out, and you know what? It was okay. wasn't the greatest. But let's uh, check it out. I've got a little video here. Uh, just stand by. I'll grab that for you one second. All right, here we go. This is Pete's Blue Chip. So like I said, it's out there in Colorado. Very typical 60s decor. There it is, pastrami steak sandwich. I don't know. Uh, very retro. I don't know if they've changed much in years. Spotlessly clean, however, which I love. Pretty decent menu. Had Mexican food as well as breakfast. I had a to-go window. Uh, I opted for the pastrami. I got to say it was a little chewy. And I believe it's because they cut it somewhat thick and maybe they missed cutting it against the grain. But uh, it was fairly chewy. And then it was salty as hell, which is not good because it's already brined. So um, so it wasn't great. I also got some onion rings with it and they were dredged in a um, like a cornmeal. And I got to say that was not my favorite. It was pretty uh, nasty, to tell you the truth. I brought it home. And my roommate, Ross, uh, decided to uh, play Frisbee golf with them because they were just inedible. But um, uh, the service was great. They were well-staffed, a uh, lot of young kids, you know, and they were really attentive. Uh, bathroom scale on a one to five, I give them a four. That's pretty good. You know, I always say you can judge a restaurant by the bathroom. Trust me. I know. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's my review. On Pete's, uh, I would say nothing special. Certainly worth checking out. You know, you want to support those local businesses. This is definitely a mom and pop operation. You know, these people are working hard. Um, even if it's not great, you know, support them. Tip heavily, for God's sake. They, they, these guys go to war for you. So, you know, I appreciate that. As, as our ex-restaurant, if you ever work in a restaurant, you get it. Um, so um, with that being said, I have a couple new things that for, for you to check out. One of them is our uh, website. Yes, that's true. We got a website uh, that's launched now. It's um, ogrock.com, www.ogrock.com. And uh, I've got uh, all kinds of content, videos. I've got some jukeboxes with some really killer audio, blues box. And all of my guests, I have their uh, material up on there. Uh, podcast stuff. I've got my uh, old guy gear. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm getting more and more all the time. It's really high quality killer stuff. So um, keep those comments coming. You know, keep those subscriptions and the likes and spreading the love. Um, it means a lot. And uh, certainly I appreciate you all so much, you know, and uh, keep keep it coming. We really do appreciate you. And um, anything else that you can come up with, let us know. I, you know, I'm I'm always coming up with new stuff. So, uh, 
let me know and uh we'll we'll get it together for you all right so take care now everybody and uh remember old, old guys, guys eat. eat yes and tip heavily